Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go through the AQA Combined Science Trilogy Physics Paper 2 Higher Tier. This was released in uh, 2019 and this paper is 1 hour 15 minutes long and it's out of 60 marks. Sorry, 70 marks rather than 60 marks. So <clears throat> that's 60 marks over there. So let's have a look at question number one. Question number one is on the topic on motion. Figure one shows a runner using a smartwatch and a mobile phone to monitor her run. Figure two is a velocity time graph for part of the runner's warm up. So figure two shows a velocity time graph. It was time in seconds on the x axis and velocity on the y axis. Now, when you look at this graph, you should be able to interpret what's actually happening in terms of the shape. So when it's a flat line, it should be constant velocity here. So if I label these parts, constant velocity, where it's a flat line, it's a constant velocity as well. This velocity is increasing so that these two are acceleration. These two points and this velocity is actually going down. So this is deceleration here. And it's actually going down. So let's have a look at the first question. Determine the total time for which the velocity of the runner was increasing. So the velocity of the runner was increasing between two points. So from zero to this point, which is four seconds, and then from seven seconds to 10. So four plus three should give me the total velocity so 4 plus 3 should give me 7 seconds determine the deceleration of the runner for two marks so the deceleration is starting from there which is 2 meters per second and that is at 14 seconds to 24 seconds. So 14 to 24 is 10 seconds, the difference. So the deceleration, deceleration can be found using the equation A equals V minus U divided by the time, which is also the gradient. Because the gradient is y over x. So change in velocity is 0 minus 2. Because final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 2. Divide that by 24 minus 14. That gives me minus 2 divided by 10. That will give me 0 0.2 minus value <clears throat> meters per second squared now still on question one but this part is actually on the waves topic the smartwatch and mobile phone are connected to each other by a system called bluetooth bluetooth is wireless and uses electromagnetic waves for communication question 1.3 Suggest why the phone and watch being connected by a wireless system is an advantage when running. Now, there are several reasons that you can write. Main reason being wireless means that you don't have any wires. So that means the wires are not good, going to get tangled up while the run is running around. And it will be easier to move the arms. So possible answers. <coughs> There are no wires to get tangled or disconnected and it allows easy movement 
to move arms and the visor would be inconvenient or you could say it also allows easy transfer of data question 1.4 write down the equation that links frequency wave speed and wavelength now you can refer to the equation sheet to find this equation you can write it as a word equation or as a symbol equation so wave speed equals frequency multiplied by the wavelength or you could use v equals f lambda so let's change the color there you go v equals f lambda where v is the wave speed f is for frequency and lambda is for wavelength question 1.5 the electromagnetic waves have a frequency of 2 billion 400 million so the speed of electromagnetic waves is 300 million meters per second calculate the wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum so we can use the equation that we have given above and we need to rearrange the equation so let me choose the correct pen V equals F lambda. So when we rearrange it, it would be the wavelength or the lambda is V divided by the frequency. So the speed is 300 million. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And Two, four, zero, zero, six. Five, six. So now, if I use the calculator, I am going to do some simple maths so that I have, don't have to add all of these numbers up. That leaves me three over twenty-four. To add in the calculator, so three divided by 24 is 1 8 and that's 0 0.125 so 0 0.125 meters meters next question question 1.6 table 1 shows some information about four types of bluetooth so you have Type 1 to 4, power in milliwatts and the range in meters. So as you can see, as the power goes up, actually the 100, 2.5, 1 and 0.5. So the power is actually going down and the range is also decreasing in meters. So mobile phone 2, mobile phones use type 2 Bluetooth to communicate with other devices. So just two reasons why. So having a look at the second type, 2.5, range is 10 meters. Now, for a Bluetooth device, like example, connecting your mobile phone to your uh, AirPods or to your headphones, you don't need a range more than 10 meters or your more smartwatch. One meter is probably going to be less as well. So. range is far enough for most users and power is not too great so the battery will not drain quickly any two of those bullet points will be okay but you can also say power is not too great so the phone will not overheat or the range per milliwatt is greatest or four meters so <clears throat> at you divide that by no you don't have to do any calculation that should be enough that brings to us to the end of question number one 
I'll see you in the next video for question number two.